Recently, in mid-January, a new galaxy was discovered in a local group in the constellation Pegasus. Like other newly discovered galaxies in a local group, the new galaxy, known as Pegasus W, is very small, measuring just 200 parsecs wide, that is 660 light years wide. Pegasus W is also very dim at just 65,000 solar luminosities compared to billions for galaxies like the Milky Way. It's located almost 3 million light years away near the Andromeda galaxy but is outside its virial radius, a measure of its rough gravitational influence and so is not considered one of its satellites. However, Unlike other galaxies of its size, Pegasus W is not a lifeless blob of old stars. In fact, it could still be forming them right now, or at least in the recent past. Tiny galaxies around the size of Pegasus W usually lose their gas quickly during the epoch of reionization, which was when all the hydrogen gas collapsed and the first stars were born in a universe-wide starburst event couple hundred million years after the Big Bang. This leaves them with no gas left to form stars. They are what we call quenched. However, Pegasus W does not seem to have been quenched during reionization. Its estimated star formation history shows that less than half of its gas was used by the end of reionization 12.7 billion years ago. The quenching time scale, which is the time needed for 90% of a galaxy's gas to be used up by star formation, only occurred 7.4 billion years ago for Pegasus W, much later than for other galaxies of its size. In fact, it's certain that star formation has been persisting at a low level in Pegasus W up until at least the last billion years. Interestingly, it seems as if other satellites of Andromeda in a similar mass range show similar extended star forming histories. This is in stark contrast to a few ultra faint dwarf satellites of the Milky Way, which are all in the same mass range. They had formed about 80% of their stars within the first billion years of the Big Bang and 100% of their stars by 11.6 billion years ago. What's really quite fascinating is the discovery of a collection of bluer stars which are concentrated in the center of the galaxy, meaning they are likely younger stars as opposed to them possibly being blue horizontal branch stars which are older, lower mass stars which have gone past the first red giant stage. These would be spread throughout the galaxy more evenly candidate so-called blue helium burning stars which would translate to cooler maybe white and yellow giant stars have also been found these stars all may be younger than 500 million years suggesting star formation in that recent time scale cosmological simulations suggest that the threshold of a galaxy's stellar mass for it to be quenched during reionization is about 100,000 solar masses and above this mass galaxies should be able to accrete enough gas from intergalactic space and be physically big enough so that UV radiation from nascent stars doesn't heat up cold gas to be able to sustain star formation after reionization. With a stellar mass of 65,000 solar masses Pegasus W is below this threshold and so its more extended star formation history is not necessarily consistent with the models. It's possible that the mass of Pegasus W's dark matter halo was large enough to be above the reionization threshold, although not significantly. However, Pegasus W has still been quenched by environmental forces, mostly by tidal forces from the Andromeda galaxy during its time closer to the galaxy as it has previously passed through Andromeda's dark matter halo. Why and how exactly Pegasus W survived reionization, 
unlike other galaxies of its size, is not exactly known, but it likely has to do with the surrounding environment during reionization. The Milky Way satellites, which were quenched quickly compared to Pegasus W, were likely impacted by the Milky Way halo and its growth, and so differences in quenching timescales between them and Pegasus W could be explained by differences in environment and orbital histories. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe for more space content.